Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and today I'm just gonna explain how you can install a Grafana tool on your window machine. Okay, so let me just uh, give you the brief idea about what exactly the Grafana is. Grafana is a open source platform to just, you know, uh, uh, to just, you know, analyze and monitor, you know, or I would say not analyze or monitoring it's kind of monitoring tool but it needs some data points right if you have a data points in your time series in a time series DB or any other DB which has one column as a timestamp what it does is it just extract the information and it just show you in a very beautiful graphs or you know a lot of kind of graphs like histogram and all those stuff with help you or the IT people or the developer to just just analyze and monitoring those data points in more user-friendly way right so here are just I mentioned few of the points so let me just don't invest most most time on this first let me tell you how you can install the Grafana on your window machine and afterwards I'll just tell you how you can utilize it right so the very first thing you need to go to the Google uh, open the browser just go to the Google and I have already you can just put Grafana installation on Windows okay and just click on this it will take you to the very first link just remember it should be docs Grafana org right installing on Windows and Grafana documentation right here what you have to do uh, installing on Windows and here we have this download it will download it will start the downloading right and it is downloading in Grafana right so let me just pause it because we, I have already installed it I have already downloaded on my machine let me tell you once this da this download gets completed you will get something like this right so just copy this and paste it in any of your folder I have already copied here okay and I can just copy again and that doesn't matter right but still I'm just for showing you right so how can I extract uh, let me just extract here you have to unzip that first then you will have this folder here right go to this folder the important thing which you have to set is by default you know the Grafana run on 3004 it's a 3000 right but on window machine to run anything on 3000 you need a specific privilege right so if you just want to change the default port of Grafana what you have to do is just go to the con okay here you have this sample.ini but I will let me tell you one more thing right uh, uh, what you can do is um, here if you will see all the configuration steps are already mentioned on this on the, on the, on the, on the website itself right? just go to the con directly copy sample.ini to the custom.ini user id dot custom ini never the default ini right so uh, this is your sample copy this and paste it okay and just change it to custom okay and then open it okay and just if you will just scroll it down http port to use uh, you can see uh, it will say just search for this you can just search for this I have already marked this see it's already here so I I just wanted to run this on let's say 8989 and just save it stop it and then come back to the one folder up go to the when and here you have a Grafana server uh, just double click on it and it will start executing this so so it means that the Grafana service uh, Grafana server is running. What you have to do now is just open the browser, any of the browser, just type local host uh, 8989. Right. So it will uh what happened? Let me just check whether it's running on 3000. Ah, it's running on 3000. So let me just check. Uh, I think I have changed something in the wrong file. The default graph ah, is the commit. Oh, I just forget to uncomment that. So that's the reason it is just running on by default on 3000. What you can do, go back again, open this, 
HTTP port. Oh, it's already commented to uncomment this. I have to remove this. I have to save it. Then I have to go back to and I have to stop this. To stop in the service, I have to cancel it. Right, and this time it should not work because it's not running. What should I do? Again, I go back to the bin folder. Then I have to click on Grafana server. Start it again. Let me tell you, see, this 3000 is not working anymore now because I have changed that and I'm commented for 8989. Now, let me try with 8989 and see what happens here. Okay, it's done. So, by default, the password is admin admin. So admin, admin and you can just log in and you will see this page, right? And there are a lot of information, maybe not in this video. I will be covering in the next video where I'll be telling you how you can. Uh, add the data sources within a Grafana, then how can how can you create the dashboard aid and how can you just show your data points in a very user friendly way and a very attractive way which can anybody can understand. That's it from my side for this installation. If you have any question or any feedback, please feel free to let me know. Put your comment in a comment section and please if you like it, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe it and give the thumbs up to me so that that I'll keep I'll keep adding new new videos on new new tools and the technology which will ease down or which will help you in you know running your day-to-day -day job. Thank you, thank you very much for being with me.